Post game here at the WEC as Hartford defeats NJIT by a score of 84 to 53. And as always, we'll get a chance to talk with head coach Mike Lane. I'm Mike Ventola. And Mike, I uh, always wish I could get a chance to talk to you after a victory, <laughs> but um, I yeah. know it was a real uh, difficult game for your squad out there. Um, you know, what did you see? I know in a big lopsided loss like that, what did, did you see any positives from uh, what you've taken away here today? Um, well, it's hard to see the positives right now. Uh, maybe tonight uh, I'll be able to find yeah. it. Uh, it's just a result that we're really disappointed with. Uh, you know, we knew what they were going to do. We knew who they were. Um, we thought we had a pretty good plan against it. Uh, I think we still played a little bit on our heels, a little bit more than I thought we would. Um, you know, so that was really disappointing. But I do think the positives, I thought, you know, we got the third quarter was just uh, a death knell for us. And I think at least we responded in the fourth. I think that's something with this young program that's had a lot of, uh, you know, some bad results go their way. And I was like, we got to keep fighting. So I thought at least there was some fight there in that fourth quarter. Um, scored 20 points, and so that was good to see. But they also took their press off. So. <laughs> no, right, and you know, and obviously, you know, there are you, you figured there are going to be teams that are going to come in and press, but also too, this was a team Hartford that had issues rebounding coming into yeah. today, and I'm sure that was something that you and your staff focused on with your team to attack the boards, yeah. attack them, and uh, you know, obviously, I know that maybe didn't go as well as you hoped for, but um, you know, uh, you know, but with that as well, trying to work around that throughout the game, you know, did you feel like there was any point where you feel like you could have taken advantage of that? Yeah, well, I thought early. I thought early. We we had chances and you know we made we missed some bunnies uh we, you know we have there's a game where we had 20 offensive rebounds right, yeah. like that that's like they could not handle us down low um i thought we shied away from getting the ball in there when we broke the press uh, i thought sometimes when we had the ball down there we didn't go attack the basket you know we had some matchups that we wanted because they were switching some stuff and we have posts with a guard on them and they're not going to attack the rim and so i think that's a learning lesson for them um, and I, I think we'll grow from that, but we got to be more aggressive because that's where our advantage is and will be. You know, and I, you know, one player that we, you and I we've, we've had a chance to talk about was obviously Milena. You know, MB. She, you know, I knew when when she first took the court at the beginning of the year there would be some rust. But it seems like as the season's gone along, she's had some nice moments. Today, she kind of started to figure things out a little yeah. bit more. You know, how much do you see her getting even more involved with this offense as the season now gets ready to jump into conference play? Yeah, well, I think she's understanding her role in it and yeah. that this is an offense built for post players. Right. Uh, you know, that's something we talk about, obviously, to the recruits. But this is what we want. We want to get the ball down low because we have shooters around kids down with the basket. If you, the ball goes in the MD, or Danny or Jill and they're making something happen down there then now they have to react to that and now you have Ellen and Kelly and snipers back out there that can hit some shots um, and so that's again that was a big disappointment for us we thought we wanted to get the ball down there we thought that's where the game was and I thought there was opportunities that we just let go you know, um, the three-point shooting I know hasn't been up to par, especially after this game and then even the game against Kent State, though. But Kelly seemed like she was starting to find her rhythm a little bit late, and I know you're hoping that momentum can carry over to uh, Kennesaw State next Saturday. So, But for the three-point shooting when it comes to Ellen and Kelly in particular, how much is it for them just to, you know, is it just come down to confidence? Because obviously, technically, they're pretty sound when it comes to yeah. actually hitting a three-point shot. Yeah, no, they have the green light. They have, you know, and, and you look at five for 25, and it looks like a, a terrible number, but 19 of those are from those two. That's what we want. Right. They're wide open. They didn't force any threes. I'm going to take all 19 of those shots. And then the other six, Sam had two good looks. Jordan had two good looks. Right. Danny had a look. I mean, those are shots in our offense that we have to shoot. Um, we got to get in the gym and ha build that confidence that it's not a question of, is this a shot I can make? And Kelly and Ellen normally don't generate in that, or don't operate in that gray area. You know, they're, they're getting a catch and they're putting it up there. I think sometimes our kids need a little bit more confidence, but you're in that in the practice room. All right, Coach. Well, obviously, next Saturday, you will be taking on Kennesaw State, your first game as head coach against an ASUN opponent. What are you looking forward to most? What are you hoping that you can work on in practice can get you to a win next Saturday? Well, I think we've got to see what Kennesaw is about. I think this is exciting. Um, you know, we don't know much about the league. I'm excited to get into ASUN play. I'm excited to show, hopefully, people a different product than they've seen in NJIT. Uh, I think there's been, and we've talked about yes. this, a word that I've used a lot is glimpses, right, and yes. I'd like to eliminate <laughs> that word from my yes. vocabulary but it's the same thing we got to make those glimpses longer and just play our style longer and when we can do that we're really good like we can hang with these teams we got to hang with them longer than we did today
All right, Coach, I'd love to keep you longer, but the men's volleyball team's practicing. I don't want us <laughs> to get hit with the volleyball, right? So at this point, thank you for stopping by, and hey, uh, happy new year. Looking forward to seeing you next Saturday. Thanks, Mike. All right, that's head coach Mike Lane.